I am here with Kristen. She has decided that she would like to learn stutter stepping. If you are helping family, friends at home, I always like to just wait till they ask for the help. You know, you can watch over their shoulders. I'm very excited that Kristen wants to learn stutter stepping, but she came to me first. We're not forcing this on her. So she is my opposite, Vala. How's it going, Kristen? Going well. All right, so our lane minions have met up here. There's a couple of goals to stutter stepping. The very, very essential part of it is I want you to keep up your DPS while you're on retreat. That is the main, main reason I want anyone to stutter step. And that's very simple to do. There's other reasons to stutter step, such as getting in a favorable position for a upcoming attack, making sure that you're staying inside the creeps if a Nova or a skill shot assassin is up against you. So let's say if I'm fighting Muradin in this lane, and I want to be safe from the Muradin, I will stand inside these spiders so that his skill shot, his storm bolt, doesn't hit me. It hits a spider instead. Okay. Let's imagine I think I'm in the bottom lane and Nova's going to come for me. I'm going to stutter step my way down to the bottom here. So I keep a spider in between me and this top vent in case a skill shot snipe tries to come oh, at me. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And ultimately, by doing a little bit of stutter stepping, I'm staying mobile. And if a skill shot were to hit me outside the lane, if I'm hanging out up here, there's a good chance I moved from the original spot that it was firing, such as that ice bolt, Li Ming magic missiles. Stutter stepping is all a good excuse to just keep mobile and not be highly predictable where you're going to be to land those big old shots. But, as I said at the start, the main reason I want stutter stepping is so that when you are running away, you are maintaining DPS. If I'm here and I have to back up, it's very easy to just stop DPS and run. Yes. But I can keep my DPS going by doing a little bit of stutter stepping. And Vala's a very special case because she has such a fast attack speed and she has her hatred, which increases her movement speed. And we also took Rancor here that's going to increase her attack speed. So a couple of things to note about Vala or any character like this, like Raynor, you are going to have two different versions of stutter stepping. You're gonna have your non-augmented regular old auto attacks like this where you can kind of move a little slow. But as you start getting those stacks of hatred, you can do it faster and faster and faster. Same with Raynor. If you are stutter stepping and you hit that Inspire for that, that attack speed buff, you're going to need to stutter step a little bit faster. Cool. Let's talk about the two ways to stutter step. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my keys here. So you have two methods to do it. I'm going to teach you S first. Okay. S is stop. And it's right next to the A. It's very easy to do. Hit S, you'll stop moving. Hit S, you'll stop moving. Click, stop moving. Click, stop moving. And now you're performing a very basic, easy stutter step. Now you notice that we didn't prioritize heroes in this. You are going to prioritize as a range character the closest thing to you. So I can control it a little bit. If I want to go attack this spider in the back, I can kind of stutter step over here. And I know that I'll attack the nearest thing to me. Okay, gotcha. So that is why when you're out of lane, when you're, you know, running away from that Cursed on Cursed Hollow, if it was taken, but you need to retreat, but you want to keep your DPS high, you would use S because the majority of your attention is going to be on running away, on not getting killed, on dodging those incoming shots and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So by using S on retreat, you're doing a very easy stutter step to make sure you're still paying attention to the essentials and just attacking whatever's in range. Oh, this is much easier than trying to click every individual minion. Very true, but that is what we're eventually aiming for, particularly when we're on the attack. When we're being aggressive, we want to be in control. Because otherwise, if I want to get to you and I want to attack you, I end up just attacking the nearest thing to me. So that is why S is best on retreat. You can also use A move. And A move, as you know, puts you down. If you A move, you're just going to attack to that point that you clicked. If there's nothing to attack in the way, you will move to that location and you will wait there. If something arrives, you will attack it. So when you're using A move or A, you're doing, you're varying your clicks. You're going to right click for the A, left click to move. Right click for the A, left click to move. Just a different method right for doing click, it. Right click, A, left click. Oh, oh, so you have to use an entirely different button to move forward for A. Right, so with A, you are using A click, which is going to be a left A. Yes. And then yeah, I'm doing the A here. Exactly. And then you're using a right click to move around. 
So S is always just going to be a little easier to do, but yeah, you can S do it with Yeah, S feels a, a lot easier, and it feels like I'm doing the same thing. But the problem with it is that you will be on S, and you may confuse your fingers later on when you need to switch over to A. Because S, let's say I'm, I'm retreating, and nothing's in range, and I get back here. I have now stopped back here. I'm not attacking. Whereas if I'm always A move right-clicking, I'm guaranteeing I'm always kind of moving towards my enemies attacking the nearest thing. So S on the attack and the retreat? That's a pretty good way to think of it. Ideally, again, we're aiming for your right clicks. We're aiming for those right clicks. And yes, the chat's making some great comments about quick casting, everything like that. We're not talking about that. Uh, it's true, if you have quick cast on, if I press A, I will just auto move to where I'm going. That's a whole nother setting. You can mess with any of these controls. You don't have to use S. I use H, actually. I have it set to S right now because that's the general way to use a stop command. But I set it to H because of my experience with StarCraft. And this and S is how H worked in StarCraft. Don't, 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 get, don't get confused there. So we're aiming for ultimately right clicks. And what that means is exactly what it means. If I want to, let's say I want to attack Dream Destroyer a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use my S clicks, and I'm just kind of building my hatred. And then as we back up here, I'm making sure I'm using S, so I have a nice little stutter step. I'm maintaining my hatred. I'm making sure those stacks don't go away. But then I see her up here, so I want to get close to her again, and we got a right click. Also, you know, last hitting, it's not a thing in this game, but with right clicks, you can help speed along a lane by attacking the right thing. I'll attack that guy, cool, I'll adjust. Now attack that guy, cool, I'll adjust. Okay, okay, so let's break down this this A move thing, because I have to hit A and then left click, as opposed to simply right clicking myself onto the map and hitting S, which feels much more natural because that's how I've been playing the game so far, which is right clicking to move all that's the time. That's great. That's absolutely great. Have that be what you remember from this then. Okay. I'm, I'm just presenting two different ways to do the same thing. Okay, so neither one is inherently better. It's just... I mean, is the difference so minuscule that it's one of those high-level things that it will really only affect you once you hit Master not, Diamond? No, not really. The only reason why A move is slightly better is because you're always moving towards the aggression. Yeah. And in this way, I'm always maintaining that I'm going to attack something. For new players, if you use S, if I'm doing a stutter step back, I could easily put myself out of range and then get stuck like this and lose all my stacks of hatred. Oh, gotcha. So but A, make sure I maintain the fight. you immediately see that you were stopped and run back in range? Not all players do, and that's why oh. A move might be preferred, particularly okay, if you're in bronze. Gotcha. Let's go ahead so, and step out of lane here. Let's go into the top here. Okay, so, so if you're a player that won't be able to catch that, then you should use you should learn a move. But if you know you can catch yourself, then stop might be better. Exactly. Because because a move feels like it overcomplicates the entire process. But it's also new too, so it very well couldn't. You're also focusing in on it as an overcomplicated process. I I merely present both because they both do the same thing. Yeah. Some players, like in our our Twitch chat right now, are swearing by a move. They don't even understand why I'm teaching you s. Whereas you're saying you love S, and you wouldn't use A move to do this. Oh, sorry, sorry, I mean it. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. We're about to do a little chase here. Okay. So what we're going to do is, here, go ahead and stand on this pad here where the orb's going to be. Okay, on the orb. All right, you're going to run through that top vent there. Okay. And I'm going to chase you. Okay. I'm not going to attack you. And while I chase you, I want you to use S, and you're going to see how much movement speed you lose and how kind of fast you have to do this, perhaps. Or you might do it too fast. You might hit S so fast that you end up canceling your auto attack. You have to give it time to get out. Okay, so how many auto attacks should I let loose before I start moving again? Just one. Just one. We're just okay. going for one arrow out of the shot. Okay. All right, I'm going to chase you here. Run right. with an S. Well, I was expecting oh, you to go okay. this one here, but it's all good. Back on the oh, pad. Oh, back on the pad. <laughs> nope, I'm going back to the safety of my minions. All right, I'm going to chase you to that vent. All right. Go. Oh, see, you did a little too fast there. But that's good. That was a good rhythm. 
Okay, cool. So it's all about finding that rhythm. Exactly. And remembering on Vala or other characters that may have enhanced attack speed, that your rhythm will change as you gain stacks of hatred. Yes. Back on the pad. Oh, back on the pad? Okay. Back on the pad. All right, here I come. All right, I'm going to do a move now. Oh, oh, God. So you got stuck because you were auto-attacking, you weren't moving with the S, and it does take those additional button clicks. So just use S for yourself. Okay. Don't, let's just forget for yourself that A was even presented. Okay. I'm going to res here. We'll give this another go. All right. All right, get back on the pad. Here I come. All right, I'm ready. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Vigorous Assaults, just if we need to top ourselves off. And at level 7, let's go ahead and do that Hot Pursuit. Okay, so I should attack you first and then start running? Remember, you're going to be in the thick of combat, so you'll probably oh, already be sorry. running away. <laughs> I meant to do a move, and uh, I hit no, my... No, I'm sure you did. <laughs> no, I meant, no, no, I meant to position good. myself so that if you got near, I'd start shooting. Right? So if you hit A and then position yourself, okay, I would automatically start shooting then. Right. And if we hit S next to each other, you'll start doing the same. You just won't be moved. So okay. go ahead. The, the, here's the danger about hitting A. Go ahead and A towards me and don't click any other buttons. Okay. See, now I control your movement and you're chasing me. Oh. And that's okay. what makes A scary and why S is often more powerful. Okay. Because with S, I know exactly where I'm going to stop. Look at these tiles on the ground and imagine that we're on Battlefield of Eternity. Okay. Yeah. If I want to dodge the stun from the Immortal, using S is more powerful than using my right click because I know exactly where I'm going to stop. Okay. So if I, let's say in the thick of it, there's minions flying around, Asmodan's been summoning stuff, heroes run in and run out, there's a good chance I might accidentally right click them. Yeah. So if I want to stop, let's say I want to stop on, I'm going to do a little doodle here. If I want to stop right on this tile on my screen, I will actually click past it and then use my S to stop exactly when I get there. So I right click, there we go, and I'm on the tile. That's where I want to be. Gotcha. Or in this case, it was a different tile. And I'm there. And now I'm controlling where I am spatially a little better. And if something were to wander up to me, my character won't automatically start chasing them. I'm holding position with S. Yeah, that's really nice. I like the stop a lot. And then I'm always standing exactly where I want, and I don't over-pursue accidentally. <laughs> and that's one of the main problems. And that's why on Rainer, I use S so religiously, because he has such a large range that there's a good chance I might chase someone too deep and get out of position. Whereas, yeah. let's say I want to do this fight right now, and... I don't want to go past this vent. I can use S right here and maintain this area. Yeah. And never go past the point I want if you chose to run away during that. Gotcha. I'm going to go and top off. Okay. And now we're going to use stutter step to chase. And the reason why you would stutter step to chase is a little different. So we're go ahead and stay up here by the little pad. Okay. And... The reason you would use stutter step to chase is you're going to close the distance first so that when they choose to run away, they've made a bad decision. They're already in range of you. So let's stay mounted here for a second so we don't attack each other. Okay. So let's say Vala and Vala get in a fight. And I think because I have a two-level lead, I'm going to win this fight. So mm -hmm. during this battle, I'm going to slowly stutter step to you while you maintain your location. Okay. Okay. Now, if you were to choose to leave, you would have to run that distance out of my range while I get to maintain my auto attacks. Yeah, and you're moving faster, too, so... Well, due to Vala's trait and everything else like that, mm -hmm. but that, that's not important. It's more important that I have created an area that you have to escape from. Gotcha. And then you have to picture acceleration. Acceleration is, is something that is unique to Heroes of the Storm, Dota... Uh, League of Legends doesn't have acceleration. Your character will, from the second you take a step, you'll be moving at your maximum speed. But okay. on this horse here, it kind of has a gallop, and it takes a little bit of a second to reach its maximum speed. Yeah. If I'm off my horse, you can really tell that she just, it's half a second, it's not a ton, but those are the sort of things that can mess you up. 
So here, go ahead and A move on me. Oh, okay. Cool. See, now that you are out of range, you are continuing to chase, and you can see Vala's little, her little uh, crossbows there almost did like a little swing. It was almost ready to fire, but it wasn't Ooh. quite. See, you can see it right there. Her yeah. little animation tries to go, but it's not quite ready. Okay, so, so what does that mean? So by stutter stepping, we are closing the distance before the fight starts so that those attacks don't get limited by the range. Okay. So I'm going to show you an example here. Go ahead and stand on the pad. All right. All right, and I'm going to chase you here. All right, go ahead and run towards that top. So if I'm stutter stepping and I'm maintaining this area, I've maximized the amount of attacks I can get before you outdistance me and I get stuck in that odd animation. Oh, gotcha. Makes sense? Yeah, so you're trying to just get in as many cheap shots as you can before they can run away. Essentially. But I also don't want to be outranged by the character. You'll see this a lot on Muradin. Muradin has a attack animation where he picks up his hammer and he kind of does like this, here yes. I come, and he's almost going to hit someone, and then it doesn't connect. Yeah. Thrall used to have the same problem in his animations. They had to fix the code and the actual physical animation on Thrall, so he would deliver his attack faster. Yeah, I Otherwise, that. he was getting stuck chasing. Mm hmm So that's what's happening here. So that's why we would stutter step on the offensive. To get in as many shots as you can. And to, to close... maximize damage. Exactly. And to close the distance so that if they run away, because we're, we know we're going to win this fight, they aren't actually able to escape, and they don't trigger bad animations. Gotcha. Because they're in the distance. And unless they have a way to teleport out or uh, leap out, there's, they'll just be stuck in that distance. Exactly. In your range. Exactly. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get in lane here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up Reign of Vengeance. And let's just do a little bit of laning versus. Okay. So just kind of use, I'm using A move right now, but oh. you could use S. Just go ahead and stutter step. Right now I'd be making sure I keep some spiders in between me and you because I don't want to get hit by that hungering arrow. I want to have them have other opportunities to attack things. Here you're kind of getting my tower range, so I'm thinking, you know, maybe I can use my stutter steps to sort of close the distance a yeah. little bit. Get in a better position for whatever decides to happen. Relaxing during the alt. And people can see on my screen that I change between the two pretty fluidly, but almost always I use S on retreat and A when I'm going forward. I keep missing my buttons. Missing your buttons? Oh, I need to learn where to put my fingers. Mm. Because I'll hit W instead of S. That is so dangerous. So that's just going to be a physical thing. And for some people, they just have small hands, so they stay with S. You can, yes. you can map it to any button you want. Like I said, on my own account, I use H. Because that's what I prefer. Um, oh god, what am I doing? Oh! 